And welcome to another edition of the ETBU Sportsnet Coaches Show. Kenneth the K-Rock Coin here, but we already know that by now. We're now also having to be having the pleasure of introducing or interviewing this week once again our head softball coach Janae Shirley, of course, who was coming off another series victory against All Stars. He kind of got it ended it a little earlier because it was a Sunday Monday series and all that. But overall, from the series perspective, hard fought series, but you were able to come away with three wins out of that. Just you know, in general, from your team's perspective, just take a re us through a recap of that. Well, we kind of knew going into it that, like, just for whatever reason, every time we go up there and play, it's just a difficult place for us to play. But um, the girls did a good job of just kind of overcoming all that and, you know, um, pushing through and getting the wins. We had a few challenges, and there's some stuff that we definitely need to work on over the series. But, um, you know, you can't be dissatisfied with three wins for sure. Yeah, absolutely, Coach. And obviously, you can't be dissatisfied with some strong performances as well. I mean, we had uh, Presley Cox, of course, who pitched very well, got a complete game shutout. As a matter of fact, she actually got a, two shutout wins. One of them was a five-inning relief appearance, but obviously another seven-inning. She is really coming along very strongly from the, the pitching side of things. Yeah, for sure. Presley, um, coming into this year, she was – you know, um, somebody that we kind of added to like our recruiting late in the process and, you know, we're really excited about her and she is definitely each week she continues to get better and she has a really high ceiling and, you know, she's provided an opportunity for even B to be more successful, um, you know, giving us the ability to not have to throw B when her stuff is not working or she's not, you know, at the centenary game, her foot was like messed mm. up. And so, um, that has really opened the door for us to be able to do a lot of things, and both of the girls are hitting the ball really well, and so it's really just been kind of a smooth transition, but we've been really pleased with how she's continued to progress um, every week. Absolutely, Coach. And also a strong career day for Mackenzie Anderson as well. She had six RBIs in that last game. Um, you know, with six RBIs, a career high for her. Just talk about how she's just kind of been, you know, able to work herself back to having that strong performance. Well, Mackenzie, uh, who we call Kiki, um, Mackenzie is just a phenomenal athlete. And, you know, she's in a situation where she's the only senior on the team. And they kind of look to her for uh, a lot of different things. But she's done an excellent job of just providing energy for the team and adjusting and doing some good things for us. But, um, you know, every week she continues to get better and better. And, you know, we're just excited for her senior year, and hopefully she continues um, on the same track. Absolutely. And we'll worry about her when senior day comes around, which is not this weekend, of course, obviously. But, uh, you know, it feels like this week it's Laterno week because you got tennis playing Laterno, and then baseball's got a series with Laterno at home. You got a series with Laterno this weekend as well. But also that on Saturday, of course, it's your annual cancer game. So just – you know, obviously another one of your themes, of course, for the team. So just talk about that in general. Yeah, so uh, the strikeout cancer game is something that we've done for many years, probably 10 plus years in our program. And basically what we do is we use that day to, you know, honor and kind of just play for a different reason. Um, there's also kind of another purpose behind that. Through that, um, we raise money on that day. Typically, it's through t-shirt sales. This year, we're doing both t-shirt sales and a silent auction, which we have a lot of really cool stuff that's going to be in that. Um, but all the proceeds to that go to a cancer fund on campus, and we're able to provide financial support to faculty, staff, or students, or their immediate family members that are kind of going through difficult um, times and battling cancer. And, you know, that's been something... Uh, like a really big blessing for our program. And I think it's been a blessing for a lot of people in our E2B community that we've been able to kind of just, it's, you know, not anything big, but just knowing that people are there praying for you and supporting you is awesome. Absolutely, Coach. And, well, you're continuing this amazing start and all that. I mean, 27-1, and one, uh, of course, it's a strong start and all that. But you don't want to get too far ahead and thinking. You kind of need to keep yourself grounded and realize, hey, we still got some tough competition along the way. How do you kind of keep reminding the players about, hey, you know, this is still we're still in season. Things can come along, and just kind of keep them focused on what they need to do. Well, I I know like a lot of things that we've talked about is one just getting better and I definitely don't think that we're playing our best ball right now we have a lot of different things that we need to work on we have a really young team and you know some of this stuff some of that stuff shows sometimes but our goal is each time we play is to play um, our best ball and play our best game every time and not necessarily play 
different based off of who we play. And, you know, that's been a challenge for us. I think sometimes the girls take plays off, games off, just depending on who we're playing. And our goal is to always play our best ball. And so hopefully over the next couple of series, we are going to have some more challenging um, competition. Hopefully that competition will help prepare us for, you know, going to the conference tournament and playing better teams. And, you know, each week we can continue to get better and improve on the things that we need to improve on and go from there. Absolutely, Coach. Well, we will look forward to watching you girls play this weekend at Liter against Laternal University at Taylor Field. You won't want to miss out on that as well. All right, folks, that will wrap things up for this time around. We'll talk with Head Coach Shirley next week on the ETBU Sportsnet Coaches Show.